Thank you for inviting me to share this platform with you tonight. It's always an honor to be given the opportunity to talk about maternity services and maternity versus partnerships, especially when it comes to highlighting their importance within the maternity world. Whether we want to ensure that maternal health services are more equitable, whether we want to find out the best way to implement continuity of care, or whether we want to devise new policies or services, listening to service users is vital. It is therefore important for trusts to effectively collaborate with their maternity voices partnerships, whose main role is to ensure that the voices of service users are heard, championed, and taken into consideration in all aspects of maternity care or service provision. With that being said, tonight, my aim is to really try to shed some light into the primordial role that maternity voices partnerships play within the maternity realm, highlight the importance and call for better and more effective collaboration between them and other key stakeholders in the maternity sector. So with your permission, let's begin by defining what maternity services or maternity voices partnerships are. Next slide, please. Thank you. As noted on National Maternity Voices website, a Maternity Voices Partnership is an NHS working group, a team of women and their families, commissioners and providers, midwives and doctors working together to review and contribute to the development of local maternity care. In the sense, a Maternity Voices Partnership is a bridge that helps to connect healthcare professionals with service users. It's a critical friend whose main aim, as mentioned before, is to help champion the voices of service users by closely collaborating with healthcare professionals and creating platforms of, or environments which would then enable service users to share their experiences, perspectives, uh, recommendations or actively take part in the shaping of their respective local maternity services. They are usually run by mothers and other local uh, service users who are passionate about improving maternity care and services for all. Next slide, please. Thank you. Um, so why are maternity voices partnerships important? The important role of maternity voices partnerships cannot be overstated. Throughout the country, MVP chairs, co-chairs, volunteers, and healthcare professionals are working tirelessly with passion and compassion to ensure better maternal health and care for all. Maternity voices partnerships collect feedback from service users, either via email, social media, surveys or face-to-face. -face. They hold listening events targeted at specific groups. They conduct water patch events where they collect direct feedback from service users, um, appreciate the environment in which care is being provided, and talk to healthcare professionals for further information. They do 15 steps and sometimes collaborate with local community organizations to gain deeper understanding of the needs of service users within their geographical footprint. They also provide recommendations, invite service users to be agents of change by empowering them and allowing them to express themselves within psychologically safe environments at various meetings. Also, as mentioned by the NHS, Maternity Voices Partnerships focus on closing inequality gaps. They listen to and seek out the voices of women, families and carers using maternity services, even when that voice is a whisper. And they enable people from diverse communities to have a voice. Maternity Voices Partnerships or MVPs are doing a great job and need to be encouraged and supported in all relevant sense of the term. I therefore welcome the fact that within the NHS three-year delivery plan for maternity and neonatal services, the importance of maternity voices partnerships 
um, or maternity or neonatal voices partnerships, as, as they are now being called sometimes, um, is recognized and that there is a commitment to fund them appropriately and support them as needed. Donna Okundan, the author of the Okundan report, also stated that it is imperative that family voices are strongly and effectively represented in each LMS, so local maternity system, through the maternity voices uh, partnerships. So all in all, MVPs are key stakeholders in the maternity sector and working with them effectively is of utmost importance. Next slide, please. Thank you very much. So my message to midwives and commissioners tonight is uh, to listen to service users, ensure that you involve your MVPs at all relevant meetings and with all service and policy development opportunities and support them accordingly. Focus on ensuring that co-production as opposed to mere consultation is a reality at your trust Create trusting and psychologically safe environments in which MVP chairs, co-chairs, and other service users can thrive. Empower your maternity voices partnership team and help make their work and impact more visible. Invest in training, and this is always a plus for everyone. Um, know that you are in this together and that MVPs or MNVPs are there to support you deliver better maternal health care and services for everyone. So collaboration, not unhealthy competition, is what should be done. Try to develop a positive rapport with your MVP. Address barriers to engagement and participation effectively. It's really important to understand why some groups of people are not well represented in decision-making processes and thus adjust your policies and strategies accordingly. Finally, please remember that an imbalance of power between MVPs, service users, and healthcare professionals can hinder effective engagement. Therefore, it is always recommended to address this to ensure that there is an equitable share of power between all stakeholders and that a strong emphasis is put on respectful interactions. MVPs are your friends, your critical friends, who are there to help you champion the voices of service users. So working with them effectively will only help you achieve a goal of delivering good maternal health care and services for all. I believe that's it for me. Next slide, please. Thank you very much, everyone, for listening to me. Um, and um, I am now going to hand it back to Sue. Thank you very much.